Hello everybody, welcome to 3-Way Plays. My name is Justin, and today we're going to be looking at a Fallout theory that's been making its way around Reddit. The theory asks a simple question, and that question is, do Mick and Ralph from Fallout New Vegas actually come from Vault Number 3? There are a couple things in the game that are making people think this, and we're going to do a dive into this evidence, and we're going to ask ourselves this question and see if we can't come up with an answer. So for those of you who do not know, who are Mick and Ralph? Well, Mick and Ralph's is a location in Fallout New Vegas. It is a guns and consumables shop in Freeside, and it is run by Mick and his partner Ralph. Mick sells an assortment of weapons that can be found throughout the Mojave Wasteland with Gunrunner's Arsenal weapons as well, and an upgrade in the weapons if you can pass a speech check with him. Ralph sells consumables and clothing as well as offers other services. Now these other services we will take a deeper dive into in a future video, but for the purpose of this video just know that Mick and Ralph run this shop together and that they both are active vendors in the game. Now we also mentioned Vault Number 3. Vault Number 3 is where it is theorized that Mick and Ralph originated from. We don't get much backstory on Mick and Ralph in the game, but there are quite a few environmental items with some environmental storytelling that may give us a look into where the developers might have wanted them to come from. Vault Number 3 was one of the Vault Tech Control vaults, resulting in the vault not having an experiment tied to it. Unfortunately, sometime in the 23rd century, a water leak occurred in the vault, and the residents had to open the door and search for assistance. Now, it was at this time that potentially Mick and Ralph left that vault because shortly after the vault door was open, the fiends actually took note of that and took over and killed all the residents of the vault. So the theory simply put states that Mick and Ralph were residents in this vault. They left the vault in between the time that they opened the vault door and the time that the fiends attacked and that they may have potentially actually raided the armory of Vault 3 as in game when you go to the armory in Vault 3 you only find a few small arms as well as it being flooded. Now could they have potentially taken this armory, taken it to Freeside and started a business selling these weapons and that's where Mick acquired his arsenal? I would say it's very possible but let's look a little deeper into some other possibilities tied to this theory. Now a little something that lends some credence to this theory, Vault 3, they were having some internal arguments about whether or not opening the door is the correct answer to their problems. It was so much so an issue that they actually held an election for an overseer and the winner of the election would decide if the vault door would be opened or not. It ultimately did end up being opened, but is it possible that Mick and Ralph were maybe on the side of the overseer who did not want to open the door and that once the door was open they kind of saw the writings on the wall they thought that eh, we need to get what we can and get out of here some evidence that supports this theory if you search mick and ralph's bedroom you actually find four vault number three jumpsuits now you find a whole assortment of clothing items but generally there's not many places in fallout new vegas where you find vault suits other than in the vaults so it, it kind of asks the question where did they get these vault suits and another bit of evidence we find is that Mick gives you the Pimp Boy 3 billion on an unmarked quest in the game as a quest reward. Now the Pimp Boy 3 billion is a standard Pimp Boy 3000 that has been pimped out by Mick with what appears to be gold and silver plating as well as encrusted with diamonds. Now how exactly Mick obtained a Pip Boy which is a piece of Robco technology usually reserved only for Vault Tech Vault dwellers. I'm not sure and the game doesn't explain, but that's two items usually only tied to vaults, the Vault 3 jumpsuit and the Pip-Boy that are in the possession of Mick and Ralph. Another bit of evidence, while maybe not as strong as the other evidence, is that in Mick's arsenal of weapons, he has several 10mm pistols and security batons, weapons that are very commonly associated with these Vault Tech vaults. I don't think we really see security batons pop up anywhere else in game other than the vaults. I may be wrong on that though, let me know in the comments. Now some evidence against this theory, the official Fallout wiki does not list Mick and Ralph as previous vault dwellers or original inhabitants of Vault 3. We have a Michael Robinson who could be a Mick, but I'd, I'm not thinking that that tracks very well. And really nothing that could be conflated with the name Ralph, no Ronald, no anything like that. Now I suppose it is possible that Mick and Ralph may have changed their names after leaving the vault, but that seems like a bit of a stretch to me. 
Now reading straight from the wiki, it says that the fiends successfully conned themselves into the vault upon which they killed the inhabitants and claimed the vault for themselves. It doesn't say upon which they killed all of the inhabitants. It doesn't really mention if any inhabitants left or are actually on the map. So, I mean, it is possible that Making Ralph came from this vault and left before the fiends actually took it over. Okay, everybody, that is the theory. That's all the evidence I could find floating around Reddit or on the wiki. You know, let me know in the comments what you guys think. If you think Megan Ruff maybe did come from Vault 3, you know, I'd say it's plausible, but I, I haven't found any developer comments or anything. Take the theory with a grain of salt. I think that the environmental storytelling probably is there for a reason, as Fallout is famous for doing that, but you never know. Okay, everybody, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you all in that next video. Thank you all so much again, and goodbye. Stop by Mick and Ross for all your shopping needs.